Hello guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Trust and this is a TS Tech Talk video. On today's video guys, I am going to show you how to actually view a one-time photo or a one-time video on your WhatsApp. So I am making an update to this video because I've actually made it before. Now the reason for remaking this video is actually there was a little issue or let's say a glitch on the system that I actually want to address. So if you are making use of Android 12, uh, 12 upward, this video is for you. If you are making use of the previous Android, the other video is actually very okay. No need to watch this video again if you have previously watched it. So I'm just going to send um, a picture to myself and this picture and I'm going to make it a one time and I'm going to click on it. So when you click, you can notice this is a one-time picture and it has already loaded up here. If I click on it, I can download and open it, but it doesn't actually download on my device. This is a view once message and you can notice it says, this is a view once message and it's, um, you notice I tried to make a screenshot, although it was successful, but the screenshot was only successful because I am trying to take um i'm trying to take screenshot of this uh notification now if i click on ok and do a screenshot you notice right there the screenshot is actually blank it was successful and it was blank and even the previous screenshot i took let me show you guys the previous screenshot i took it's also going to be blank now uh black rather now the reason why it's black is because it actually disabled you notice it's supposed to show a preview on top and then have this other information but it's actually black because it's actually a few ones but now if you want to be able to take screenshots or probably record this just follow this step i'm going to show you on today's video so the first thing you actually need to do is to go to your android play store i'm doing it on this other phone right here go to your android play store and then you search for um, virtual mobile when you search for virtual mobile this is the exact application that i'm going to be making use of if you have any other preference you can go ahead and use that so once you download it click on open if you click on open if you are on android 12 and upward it's going to display this information for you now if it displays this information for you all you need to do is to click on activate the only reason why it's showing this is because you're on android 12. So click on activate and you notice all of the information. The first step is actually to enable your, um, to activate your Wi-Fi connection. Make sure your Wi-Fi connection is actually connected to your phone. And then the second one is actually to enable the developer option. And then the third one is to pair your device and then finally tap to activate. Now let's go ahead and do all of this process. Go to your phone settings, click on it, and then scroll down to the, um, bottom area click on about of your phone scroll down to the bottom you can notice where it says build number go ahead and tap on this six times when you tap on it six times it's going to prompt you to enter your login detail whichever login detail you have if you do not have a login detail on your phone it's just going to open developer option so i'm going to go ahead and enter in my login detail for this phone it's enabled and you can notice it says you are now a developer just go back and then scroll um Click on the about again and you are going to scroll down a little bit you will see developer oh, sorry hold on guys just scroll up a little bit you are going to see developer mode sorry click on the system <laughs> click on system and then scroll down a little bit you are going to see developer option and then open the developer option and you are going to scroll down a little bit more you are going to see where it says um wireless debugging mode and you can notice right there on the instruction it says enter developer option and then wireless debugging mode and then tap pair device with your pairing code you will see a six digit code and then this red information says please note that left part of your pairing wireless device is um wireless device option is actually clickable tap it is going to open a new page and only turning on the um, the switch on the right to is correct now let me just go ahead and come back here what is actually talking about is this area right here this toggle option click on that when you click on it you notice it says allow um debugging option right click on allow now after you've done that click on the wireless debug and then come right here where it actually says pair with um pairing code click on that now this is actually our pairing code two four two two for it this actually changes over time is not always the same now click on your drop down area and you are going to see an option where you say 
enter your pairing service and i'm going to click on pairing code and then i'm going to enter in the pairing code as it appears on the device which is actually 242248 now this is actually going to change the next time i have it so you notice it's successful if you have entered the wrong code it's going to tell you that you've entered the wrong code and you notice right there just below it says virtual master which is actually successful it paired now the next thing you need to do is to tap to activate now you notice it says activation successful now if you do not pair your device correctly it's not going to be successful now let me go ahead and navigate you now notice we no longer have that um um what is it called we no longer have that notification displaying so i'm going to click on create a virtual device and i'm going to select um you can actually choose any of them i think i'm okay with this particular one android 7 point two i'm going to select that you can choose any display you want i think i'm actually okay with the portrait of this size and i'm going to leave that to be active and i'm going to click on start vmware or start my virtual mobile so this is going to load up and it's going to start up um uh also i actually forgot the phone number i have um let me see okay this takes some time to load up it might be faster on your device but this takes some time to load up so let's allow it to load and while that is loading we can discuss other things guys now do not forget that this particular feature that i'm going to show you also work for both images and video most of the time people will watch my video even be without watching all of the video they will claim that this doesn't work for video it works for images or it works for photos that is actually ridiculous because the same setting or the same features work in different manner i can say i took a screenshot or let's say i did a recording it's going to work for your video or your um picture or your photo now let's dive in after this have set up successfully um click on this drag down to drag your application bar to open to the drawable area of your application click on add app and then i'm going to search for um i'm going to search for whatsapp this is actually displaying every application on my device right here these are all application on my device i can just scroll to find whatsapp but i actually prefer searching for it so it's going to be faster so you click on import you notice right there is importing this is going to import um the latest version is going to import the version of whatsapp currently on your device without going to play store to download it you notice it says imported now you can notice this is what i imported and all i need to do right now is to open it now if you open it it's going to open up and now we actually need to enter um our whatsapp number or our whatsapp phone number just click on next um it's asking me to use um to link the device but i do not actually want to link this device um, I'm going to click on this um, three dotted icon on the top area and click on register a new device Now I'm going to put my country code which is 234 and then I'm going to enter in my phone number um, Which is what I am thinking of. I hope I'm getting it. No, this is wrong So this is correct now. I'm going to click on next. This is going to take a while to load up You notice it asks if this is my phone number. Yes, it's my phone number. I'm going to continue and allow so it's going to send the code to my phone so guys um i think i actually made a mistake in the number initially that was the reason why um i had that issue so um that has been resolved i have to enter in my uh otp uh my number verification because i actually have a two-factor authentication on my device um I'm just going to pull my name and then I'm going to go next. So this is going to still ask me my two-factor authentication and I just entered this successfully. So let me go ahead and send another message to this area and I should receive the message successfully, right? now um this message is successful disappearing message i actually enabled this disappearing message on my device i do not know why but <laughs> i've forgotten when i did that i'm going to remove it later so let me go ahead and send a disappearing message again i'm going to choose um, the same message and make it disappearing and then click on send and it has been received click on it 
okay this is the message and i'm going to take a screenshot and i just took a screenshot and you can see the screenshot right there successful so this screenshot was successful and you can go to your um file area and screenshot right screenshot yeah you have seen the screenshot having this logo of um virtual mobile wear everything correct so it works for um it works for android uh android 12 because uh, most people that claim it didn't work for their device that is actually because um you didn't follow this step and now i made the video clear i hope uh this works very well for you so um let's continue again i want to send a video because after people watch a video they're still going to claim that um this video probably wasn't uh it's not working on video it's not working on photo or it's working on photo not working on video let me just make a very short video uh this is enough right right and then stop and then make it a view once you notice the message has been set to view once right i'm actually saying your video the image is going to dis disappear but you're going to do everything normal so send the video and then um Wait for it, it's not yet delivered, it's still uploading. All right, the image uploaded successfully. So the person received this message as a view once message, and then he quickly come here, and then, um, okay, I'm already doing a screen recording, right? Now, <laughs> I cannot do a second screen recording. So all you need to do, come to your device, start a screen recording. This is screen recording, I'm already recording the screen, but I'm very sure this is going to work. So click on record. So this is playing and it's recording the screen. And you can just say got it. So guys, that finished recording and all you need to do is to um, stop your recording and then go to your playlist to see it. This is actually correct because you can see on my video recording that I'm recording that is being active. So all you need to do for a video, start a screen recording, open the video and then allow it to play. If you are not satisfied, rewind or take it back and then allow it to play again. And you are going to have the video saved on your device. So whenever you stop the recording, you can always go to your device, um, to your main device by navigating. This is my main device. Go to the file area and then you are going to see your recorded video. But it's not going to display right here because I didn't record it. So this is my recorded video. Everything is going to display right here, recorded video. So guys, um, this is all I want to show you on today's video. I am sure you are not going to have any issue doing this on your device. But if for some reason you still have an issue doing it, I would love to still tackle this. I can make this video as, a, as long as I, am, I, I can because I enjoy making video for you guys. So let me know if this works. If you still have issue with it, let me know guys. And I will see you on my next video. Stay safe guys and peace.